Two years ago, after COVID, I started seeing uh, the possibility of coming here. The reason being for economical reasons, better chance for my kids, their development, all of that. My last job I was doing, it was super demanding physically. And at one point in one of the weekends, I decided I want to be among my people. I want to be with religious people. I don't know where that is exactly. I just want to be there. And I got the reference from this church. So I made it. Once I was there, I was overwhelmed. First came in the music. First time ever experiencing this, right? Then came out Pastor Matt, then he just melts you. Uh, sitting there, I was the entire service by myself, sitting down there crying. I, I had goosebumps all, all the time. As I made it out from the parking lot, I video called my wife and I told her, this is the church I want you to come. This is the church we will come. This is the place where I want to see my kids coming. So it was like that on that call. Over two years ago, last year, first thing we did was, let's go back to the church. Let's go to the church. I back then for the first time, right? When we got here, it was all the same. Everybody is welcoming. Not only that, everybody has a spirit of that kindness and it involves you. It's been a fascinating journey for me because I've always had a connection with God. It's just that I didn't see God being my savior through his son, and I didn't understand it that way. In this church, in this place, I've, I'm understanding all of that. It was the affirmation of we're doing this, and in doing so, as the spiritual leader of my house, I'm telling my kids, this is the way we're going. I explain to them, I talk to them all the time. We talk to them all the time, me and my wife, every day. It's a constant learning experience. It's a constant teaching. Uh, we do this, why we do this? Why we follow Jesus? Why we believe He's our Savior? Every day we teach that. And to be baptized was the confirmation of that. Why can it be shared with others, with the Hispanic community? You don't have accountability. You don't have somebody telling you, hey, what you're doing is wrong. Hey, what you're doing is going out of the way. Come back. In here, we have that. That's what we're trying to, to, to multiply. Uh, I would like to see for more people, what they need is to be reached out. I would like to see that. Uh, more Hispanic people being reached out. We have a strong Hispanic community here, and we can do that. I was born in Venezuela. I mean, you never think that you're going to leave uh, your, your country. And, you know, the political situation there was very hard. So we decided to move. Uh, it was a hard, hard decision. December the 30th was very cold. And uh, I was driving and people around me say, I was, you know, nervous, cold, and I just doing this sign to people, you know, pass me in the road. But one truck behind of me was the same, he was doing the same thing with the light. And I pulled over, he pulled over behind of me, and in that time I was asking by myself, why? I'm not very expert with car stuff, and uh, when I when I when I saw the the, the tire was completely destroyed, it. he was with me saying, "Hey, don't worry, everything is gonna be fine." He said, "Come to my truck." He he, he said his name, and, and we start talking, and he say, "I'm gonna help you. Don't worry, everything is gonna be fine." At the end of that night. He gave me a, a gift card with 
amount of dollars, his personal card, and, and he, he dropped me by my apartment. And uh, he, he asked me, do you believe in God? Because, I mean, every word that you pronounce has to be with God, with faith. And I say, yes, yes, I'm a Catholic guy and I believe in God. And uh, yes, uh, and he said, well, you're more than welcome to come to my church. I decided to, to go just to say thank you for everything that, you know, I, I, I have a particular faith in the Catholic Church. But I go in. I will go to, to, to meet you in the church. Since the time that I arrived at the Baptist Church, wow, for me it was amazing. We felt like we had a, a family here. And you know what? I love the way that the people share the gospel in the Baptist Church. Like me, in that time, they say, what for? things happen. It's for a reason. I would like to be a person that share my testimony to others in order to just um, let them know that we have a very uh, glorious God that take care of us. My uh, history with the church is we, my wife and I, decided to visit in August of 2013 after our son had attended uh, the preschool there. And um, we decided that it was a good fit um, for him, and so we wanted to try the church out as a whole. Um, being in the Wells of Sunday School class for, almost, for over 10 years um, has given us opportunities to, to serve and be served um, numerous times over. I've seen God do um, wonderful things. I mean, just to, just to, to speak of our, our community and our Sunday school class and the, the close knit that we have there, um, to see the things that we've been able to participate in to help other people that we may never meet or won't go to church there, but um, to help them get established or help them in life, to, to help people in our own class, whether it be in praying or um, bringing food or setting up um, a full apartment full of furniture to help somebody get established uh, and then ultimately to see them um, come to participate in what we have going on at First Baptist. It's not like I have some big revelation like go do this or go do that, but it's just a, I don't know, it, it's a its a, a feeling, it, it's, a, it's an urging, it's something you can't quite explain um, and you take that opportunity and trust me, I've, I've passed on many to, to end, but I've also been a part of others. so. Um, but just to be open to it, um, you know, not to be so wrapped up into what we have going on in life, to be aware of our surroundings and who, who we're coming in contact every single day, whether we know it or not. Who was the person that met you on the side of that road? Wow, that person uh, was Aaron Bogle. How did you end up at FBCBA? It's because Alex invited me. He said, yes, yes, I need to be in a place to, to pray, to be, you know, relaxed in a very good relationship with, with God. In that time, I just, you know, I, I invited him to the church. So it was at that time, um, that conversation, that I was able to to invite formally invite Alex to church and let him know, you know who you are, we were and what we what we did and where we went to church at. Um, he came and uh, his first Sunday um, was was uh, not too long after that, after the New Year. Um, the class welcomed him and come to find out with his story, they they had just moved from Venezuela, um, had nothing, had no, not, I mean they were living in an apartment that was completely unfurnished and. Just like I spoke about previously, our, our class stepped in and it stepped up. I'm already living the faith, right? And I believe where we are, why we are. And I just want to, to replicate that, as I said, pass this on to all the people I know. 
to every people. You see me on the streets now. I'm I'm preaching and telling everybody to you're invited to church, things like that, right? And the gospel is, you know, is part of my life, and I really, really appreciate all the love and kindness that we are receiving from the Baptist Church. I I would encourage people and specifically our church as believers in Christ to be um, prayerful in their everyday activities and to be aware of who they may be coming in contact with even at the, at the grocery store at work um, just in your community that you live in your neighbors um, to be aware of your surroundings to see things that aren't necessarily the ordinary and, 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 and make note of that and if there's an opportunity to serve in that area to take that opportunity.